My first impression of the group um, was a scary, scary sensation. Um, I think maybe because of the unknown, um, it was something new. It was a subject that was very, very uh, touchy and and um, meant a lot to me. But I also was searching for a lot of answers to about a million questions that I needed um, answers to. It was nerve-wracking in terms of because you didn't know what to expect. You didn't know where things would go, how much you'd have to share about yourself, uh, what other people would think, and all that sort of stuff. What I found most helpful was what I was most afraid of, it was listening to other people's stories and where they've come from. I felt like I was amongst people who were like me and that I wasn't the freak that I always believed that I was. Other people could really relate to how I was feeling and a lot of things that I was experiencing. So it gave me a lot of comfort to know that um, I could share what I was going through and whatnot and then other people could really connect to me and, and not judge me. And, and as time went on with the group, we started to, about to uh, develop like um, a safety and then a trust. And then it became like a lifeline, something that I really needed and, and, and looked forward to doing because the more I got to, to say, um, the better I started to feel. Once I got into that first group, I was very nervous the first time. Um, and then once I got through that first group, I went, wow, this really is, um, this really is very different. Um, and the way that the content is delivered and the supportive environment that the group creates um, is, is really just amazing. I started to learn that I'm a, I'm a pretty good guy. If I was describing the group to other people, um, I would say, especially for people who are experiencing the things that I've gone through or their own traumas, that it is an essential tool. Um, it, it, it works, it definitely works. You have to give it time and you have to really go through all of the modules. Um, you get great learning tools that I never ever would have dreamed that the simplest thing or that little comment that somebody might have said to you there, it would give you that courage to keep going further and, and you would carry that until the next week when maybe you were feeling a little down and it would push you again to keep going. That's been awesome. The thing that makes it so different is that the skills that are taught are such concrete, usable skills and it's taught in a language that I'd never heard used before to talk about suicide related behaviors. So a lot of times a lot of the language I'd encountered around suicide related behaviors really had a lot of judgments around it and this group provided language that was totally judgment free. If I could say one thing about the group, I would say it is one of the safest places to learn how to live. I found out I wasn't the only one who felt that way. I found out I wasn't alone. I found out that there was other people who were just as scared, just as frightened, just as sometimes pissed off about things as I was. And finding that out really helped me to say, you know, A, I don't have to go it alone. And other people get it. They get it. And oftentimes people are afraid to do things like this because they don't feel anyone gets them. And in this group, somebody does. I would want somebody to know that the, main, that the main things that I found about the group are that it provides a safe environment to talk about suicide in a safe way. And there is no place else that I've seen where that is really allowed. Um, and so it provides not only a safe space to talk about suicide and related behaviors, but to talk about the feelings that come up with that. I think it's important to be able to talk about suicide because I think one of the reasons that people don't reach out for help um, when they're feeling suicidal is that it is a taboo subject and um, I know myself, I was always afraid to tell people I was feeling that way because I was afraid of what their reaction would be. And so providing a safe place to talk about it um, and being able to talk about it I think makes it easier for people to ask for help. Um, without it. I don't think I would be here to, to tell you or tell anybody else um, the significance it has on me, on my kids, on our lives. 
I have gone through doctors and therapists or psychiatrists and, and found um, them to be quite judgmental and leaving their offices not only made me feel worse about who I am, but it also kind of um, confirmed that, that, you know, that I wasn't right or that society um, deemed me as, as um, somebody who, you know, who couldn't possibly be, you know, a contributor in, in this world. It, it really is incredibly different than any other group I've seen and it uses so many different types of skills and creates such a supportive environment that it's certainly worth coming and checking it out because there really is nothing else like it. It's helped me realize, again, and I go back to this, but I'm okay. I'm an okay person. It's a safe place to go to be and to allow yourself to speak your truth and to be authentic. And uh, what is there to lose? There's everything to gain. It's important that we talk about suicide in an open, supportive environment because suicide still is very much a taboo subject. It's one of those things that people don't like or are afraid to talk about. And yet by talking about it, we develop the skills, we develop the knowledge, and we, de we develop the ability to support one another. They teach you that you do have the right to live. You do have the right to live. The more I came and the more I started to accept and, and face all of these things, the stronger I was becoming. And, and every time I had setbacks that were you know, as scary and as dark as they can possibly be. And then I, the next day I would wake up again, I knew that I was moving forward and I knew that it was going to get better and I believe that now. I believe that I am better and I'm worth it.